Dan? Hey, Jeremy. Uh, you were a guy who was pretty vocal, you know, throughout the offseason about your desire to play uh, this year. So just what was it like, you know, going through those last few months with, you know, initially not being allowed to play and then ultimately getting this opportunity to play? Uh, I'm sure everybody said it once we came in that day, August 12th. It was pretty heartbreaking, just all the work we put in this whole time, going home, doing all the workouts at home and, and staying on track as a team. And then just to be told that uh, – you don't get the chance to go out there and play it was heartbreaking, but we didn't skip a beat. We got back to work. We kept working. Coach Day just said, we're going to play, and whenever we play, we'll be ready for it. So as soon as we got the green light, we were all excited again and got back to work. For you personally, going into your third year here at Ohio State, how big a year is this for you, and kind of what are your goals to continue to take your game to the next level? Uh, yeah, it's a big year. You know, My main goal is just to do whatever we can do to help win the national championship and uh, beat Nebraska right now. So we just want to really just – since the battery's running low here. Jerry, since the battery's low right now. Oh, is it? Okay, well, if that happens, uh... <laughs> Sorry okay, let's that. just keep going. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it kept popping up. But um, hey, Mike. I mean, personal goals, I just want to keep uh, improving it as an all-around tight end, you know. Oh, damn, we got I feel like I've plug gotten in. a lot stronger this offseason, so hopefully that will be put on, uh, put on display this year and – and my blocking and everything like that. And I really just want to step it up all in all three aspects of that. So thanks, Jeremy. All right. Next next up, we're gonna keep going on my computer. And if we have to switch them, uh, we'll we'll switch them. Um, next up, Tony Bergman with Buckeye Scoop and Patrick Murphy on deck. Tony. Jeremy, you mentioned Ryan Day telling you guys on the twelfth that you'll just keep practicing and, and whenever you guys can play, you'll be ready. How hard is that? How hard was that? Uh, it was definitely tough, you know. The biggest thing that we all said, and I'm sure you, you guys saw throughout social media, was that we just wanted to an answer all the stuff we've done throughout the offseason and, and leading up to it in the fall. We just wanted to know when and who we were playing against and, and to really focus on that just to give you something to look forward to. It was kind of rough just just working and, and uh, doing workouts and practice when you didn't really have an idea of when we were playing. But, you know, like I said, getting the green light to go really lifted up a lot of guys and then, but the energy has been really good these last couple practices outside. Next up, Patrick Murphy with 24-7 Sports and Tim Hall on deck. Patrick? Jeremy, I know you're one of the, the veteran guys, but I assume that you still take tips, coaching points from, from Luke and Jake. What do those guys still have that they can teach you uh, day in, day out? I mean, if you just watch them, they do a lot of little things, right, whether it's on the field or even just – in the classroom or, or outside of the field. So really, I just go for them if I have any questions. You know, they've always been been uh, really good to go to and talk to about stuff. We've gotten really close this year. And, uh, you know, they do a lot of little things, right? Like I said, like if you watch Luke play, he does pretty much everything you ask of any player. So you just want to watch him and, and keep learning all the little things because once you start getting that down, then you become really one of the great players here. Thanks. Next up, Tim Hall, 97.1 FM, The Fan, with Joey Kaufman on deck. Tim? Jeremy, I was just wondering, what, what have you learned most from playing under Ryan Day in your time here at Ohio State so far? Uh, I learned that football is a really uh, specific game. You know, you can – we're, we're very talented. I'm sure when we go out against some, some of the out-of-conference out games, we can, we can win games just based off of our talent. But – the biggest thing that I've learned from him is, is to just learn the game. And, and the more you learn the game, the easier it'll get. Uh, he said the other day, you don't, you don't rise to the occasion. You, you, you go down to the level of your training. So the biggest thing for him I've learned is that just be mentally prepared, whether it's in the film room or, or just keep working on your mental toughness. You know, he's one of the most, uh, ex, like best X's and O guys I've ever talked to. He knows the game so well. And, and you know that with him, you know, he'll never put you in a bad position to, to make a play or anything. He's always got us in the right look. He's always making sure that we got the right offense out there and the right play call. So, you know, it's never a, there's never any questions with that. So that's what, I think that's the biggest thing. Do, do you guys as teammates kind of talk about just how, I don't know if lucky is the right word, but <laughs> what, what his future holds as a coach, is that something you guys discuss and how, how good of a coach you guys have right here right now? Uh, yeah, we definitely talk about it. Uh, me and, me and the tight ends joked around last year about how good of a Madden match it would be, Coach Day versus Coach Halfley, just because of how smart they are. And, uh, you know, they just really they really know the game so well, and, and we're really blessed because uh, 
we, everybody knows that whenever you talk to him, you know you're really getting a bunch of good tips and, and you're really hearing something that you, you can take forward. Thanks. Next up, Joey Kaufman with the Columbus Dispatch, and we're going to close our questioning for this afternoon with Spencer Holbrook. Joey? Jeremy, during the, the, Jeremy, during the last session, uh, Jake was mentioning that, talking about the running game a little bit, and he didn't think um, you guys would miss a beat going from, from JK to, to Master and Trey the way they've performed, I guess, in, in some of the preseason practices. Now being able to kind of work out with the, both of those two, uh, what have you seen from them? Uh, it seems like they, they both really understand how to how to practice hard. I mean, coming in, it must be tough to really get the, like understand and, and buy into the culture. But it seems like Trey really hasn't missed any any steps with that. He comes in and he just practices hard. He's not really uh, outspoken. He just does everything right, and he looks like he's really promising out there. Fast, he runs hard. He just he seems like he understands a lot. And the same with Master. You know, he's very reliable. He's, he's a great guy, and he just seems like they can just be reliable every down, guys. We've successfully done a little bit of behind the scenes maneuvering. Our last questions will come from Austin Ward with Letterman Row. Austin? Sorry, Spencer. Uh, Jeremy, can you uh, talk about your, your uh, March or April project, whatever it was, to build that, that squat rack and get through the pandemic? Uh, yeah, it was uh, – once we were back home in March, it kind of really got really bad. Where I'm from in Long Island, it was one of the worst, worst spots with corona. So uh, – I was working out with my buddies in his garage, and, and once it started to really heat up, uh, my, my parents thought it would be best for me not to really go out as much anymore. So then uh, me and my dad took on the challenge of just going to Home Depot three times a day and just getting all wood and all the stuff, watching videos, and just ended up building a squat rack and every day adding something to it. And it really was something that not only was it good for me to keep, keep getting workouts in and, and be safe, but it was cool to really do that with my dad and my brothers and and get to spend some family time that normally we wouldn't really get. And uh, so it was really cool. We still use it. I went home last week, a couple of weeks ago and, and still use it. It's still up and strong. And, you know, I'll, I'll have that for the rest of my life to just go back on and remember these times because, like I said, although it was tough not being around the guys, it was really cool to get back and, and spend some time with the family that usually you don't really get as a, as a player here. How many days did that wind up taking till completion? And do you normally consider yourself a pretty uh, handsy, you know, project guy? Uh, the actual squat rack only took us a day, but we kept adding some, some little nicks and knacks to it, like cable rows and stuff. But yeah, I would definitely consider myself uh, a creative guy. I love to draw. I love doing art and stuff and building things. So I definitely would say that that's my type of thing. Thanks. Great. Jeremy, thank you so much for your time. Have a good practice today and a good weekend. Uh,